Over the past roughly five years or so, there has been an explosion of celebrities that have come out and had a, a profession of faith in Jesus Christ that are claiming to now be born-again Christians, from Kanye West to coming out and claiming that he's a born-again Christian, to Brian Welch, a singer in Corn, coming out and talking about his faith a number of years ago, um, to Demi Lovato getting baptized in the Jordan River, to Justin Bieber uh, coming out and talking about his faith, and spending much time at Hillsong, and even just recently with uh, a rapper named Kodak Black coming out with a video where he was saying a prayer of salvation, there's been a lot of celebrities coming out talking about not only just having faith in God in general, but emphatically declaring to be Christian or having a profession of faith surrounding that topic. And I want to create this video today not to be hypercritical of these individuals or even to really make it personally about them, but rather to address the church's response to these celebrities coming out and having a profession in faith. I want to address the church's response to this situation where all of these celebrities have come out and now claim to be Christians. And the major concern that I have is, is that many Christians still have a blind acceptance of people's profession of faith. They will just generally accept people as being a Christian without examining their profession of faith, without examining the fruit. Jesus Christ said that ye shall know them by their fruits. And I have a fear and concern that many Christians do not do so and they just blindly accept all of these uh, celebrities to be Christians. And a major concern that I have within that concern as kind of a subtopic is that many Christians show favoritism. They still have something in them of the world. Maybe they still like some of these celebrities or maybe they're just really excited about them coming out and professing faith. Still, nevertheless, many Christians that I have seen have a respect of persons. They show favoritism to the celebrity that comes out and professes faith in Jesus, as opposed to the random homeless guy on the street or an ex-drug addict that is in prison. Many Christians today will way more quickly readily accept these celebrities as Christians as opposed to the other individuals that I mentioned. And one reason why I have a major concern of this is that the Bible teaches that we should not do such a thing in the book of James chapter 2. Starting in verse 1, it says, My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons. For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring and in goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou there in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves, and have become judges of evil thoughts? And I have a major concern that many Christians are doing exactly what this passage is teaching not to do. Let's say for an example, the individual wearing a gold ring and goodly apparel could be um, as equal to the individual that is a celebrity that is coming out and professing faith in Jesus. Um, the Christians, many Christians, should I rather say, are showing respect of person, showing favoritism, showing better treatment to um, you know that individual as opposed to just the random person that comes in dressed in vile raiment, the common person, and uh, is not showing them the same kind of treatment. Now I want to ask you guys a question. Let's say for an example you were about to have open heart surgery and an individual comes into the room who's going to be doing the surgery on you and they're dressed as a mechanic. They have mechanic clothing on and they're clearly identified as a mechanic and this is the individual that's going to do open heart surgery on you. Would you not first ask yourself, ask the people around you, ask the individual himself Hey, do you have credentials? Um, are you actually a doctor? Do you have a doctorate to be able to perform open heart surgery on me? Have you done open heart surgery before? What qualifies you as a mechanic to be doing open heart surgery on me? Nobody would think it strange for you to first ask and examine if that mechanic has the proper credentials to do open heart surgery on you. But yet, when it comes to applying this principle in a spiritual fashion, many Christians purposely or just ignorantly do not do so. They don't look at the credentials of these celebrities that are claiming to be Christian. And what is the credentials of somebody that is claiming to be a Christian? Is it that they got some kind of acceptance reward at their church? 
or that they got baptized. No, it's have they become a new creature. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away, and behold, the new has come. You see, many of these celebrities can come out and profess faith in Jesus Christ, but if they are not a new creature, that means absolutely nothing. So you see, the problem that we are running into and why so many Christians just blindly accept these celebrities as true brothers and sisters in the Lord is because we still have a very major lacking when it comes to examining fruit. We have a very major problem still when it comes to just blindly accepting people um, and their profession of faith, or are they genu a genuine Christian? Many Christians today do not seriously examine somebody's faith. They rather just take the profession of faith at face value, even though their actions and their lifestyle completely contradict their profession of faith. Jesus said in John chapter 15 verse 19, if you are of the world, the world would love his own, but because you're not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. So if these celebrities truly became born again Christians, would you not think to yourself that these celebrities would be hated by the world, but they're still accepted on the same talk shows. They're still operating under the same labels. They are still loved by all of their fans. And now actually it's creating a worse scenario because a lot of these celebrities are now using Christian lingo and that their fans actually, you know, are starting to use that similar similar lingo as these so-called Christian celebrities are using, and now they are entering under a delusion about their faith. You would think celebrities who did probably more sin than anybody watching this video, um, spreading satanic music to millions of people, who knows, honestly, terrible amounts of sin, which we don't need to get into. You get the point that I'm trying to make. You would think that they would have a radical conversion. You would think that the world that they used to be a part of would just utterly hate them. But that's not the case in 98, 99% of the cases where these celebrities come out and profess faith in Jesus Christ. They are still just as much liked by the world as before their profession of faith. We even have examples with Kanye or or Kodak Black or Justin Bieber where they have come out with just as worldly music within the same year the same couple months or shoot even with Kodak Black situation the next couple days the same kind of worldly demonic music has still come out right after they claim to have become a Christian. And what's really dangerous about this is many of these celebrities are not just, you know, promoting music, as bad as that music may be. They're promoting doctrine. They're promoting a view of God. So although some of them might want to not act like they are accountable for representing God, but when you claim to be a Christian, you are now claiming to be an ambassador for the kingdom of God. So the reason why this is so dangerous is because many of these celebrities are now leading people that are claiming to be Christians astray, even that much worse now than just leading the lost people of this world astray. It's very concerning to me when I see some Christians radically and passionately defending the profession of faith of some of these celebrities when they have not even examined the lives of these celebrities yet or the things that are contradicting their profession of faith whether they be spreading heresy, whether they be, you know, spreading a false view of God, whether they just still be involved in gross sin of this world, all worldly, everything like that. None of that really matters to many Christians. They just want to defend these celebrities. And that is why I'm bringing up the concern of many people having a respect of persons showing favoritism. And many Christians would rather accuse the fellow brother or sister that is bringing up questions, bringing up concerns about, you know, doubting the uh, profession of faith of some of these celebrities. They get more mad and upset with that individual as opposed to the celebrity who is leading millions of souls astray with demonic music and demonic doctrine. Now, there are some common objections that people will bring up when this topic is brought up, and one of the major ones is that people will say, God is using them, though. Look how many people are coming to these concerts and hearing a message about God, or look how many people are now, you know, looking into the Bible and things of that nature. But, you know, if we use the measuring stick of God is using someone to determine 
determine their faith, just merely that, we can run into huge error because God can use anyone. God can use a donkey. That doesn't mean that donkey has eternal life abiding in it. God can use Judas. Judas was ordained to go cast out demons, but obviously Judas did not inherit the kingdom of God. So our measuring stick to see if somebody is a Christian should not be just merely God is using them, but rather what kind of fruit do they, do they bear? Now, something else people will say is, if we are not more accepting of them, then how are they ever going to become a Christian? And first of all, I would like to say, if somebody wants to truly become a Christian, and they're really serious about Jesus, it doesn't matter what human beings do or do not accept them, right? If they have truly humbled themselves before God, and they're desperate to overcome, they're not going to care about the opinions of men. And although there could be good genuine intention sometimes when saying that, the result of it many times is a watered-down Christianity, a watered-down gospel is fed to these celebrities as opposed to true unadulterated Christianity in the guise or in the uh, purpose of, you know, being accepting of them or going easy on them so that they can come to the faith. Now, another objection people will say is that we don't know their heart. How can we judge, right? But we don't need to know their heart, even though out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So we can tell um, and have some kind of discernment in that regard. But nevertheless, Jesus didn't say that we need to know their heart. We just need to examine their fruit. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 16, Jesus said, You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? So in order to tell what kind of tree is outside, you don't have to go cut down that tree and take off all the bark and examine it. You just have to see what kind of fruit it is bearing. And it's the same thing when it comes to somebody professing, professing faith in Jesus Christ. One last thing that I wanted to touch on that I will commonly hear people say is they will say, oh, well, their faith is still just immature. They're just still a baby Christian. But I'm thinking to myself, I've never even seen evidence of a true conversion to begin with. Like I mentioned earlier, you would think some of these people would have the most radical conversions considering how terrible of sinners they were, right? Like take for an example, the Apostle Paul. He was public enemy number one in the eyes of the kingdom of God and he had such a radical conversion the apostles had such a radical conversion um, you know even within the next couple days or weeks Paul was convincing the Jews that Jesus is the Messiah in the synagogues but all the meanwhile today with these celebrities we see we see them still making the same music still loved by all of the world Jesus said that if you are loved by all men woe unto you for so did the false prophets that came before them. If you are generally accepted and loved by all men, Jesus says that that is an abomination in the eyes of God. That which is highly esteemed in the eyes of men is an abomination unto the Lord. So should we just automatically write off all of these celebrities and just say they're all damned to hell? No, I don't believe so. I actually have seen um, some people that have made music of the world that I do believe that have had a genuine conversion. But we shouldn't just blindly accept these people. We should show the sh same kind of examination of their faith as we do to any other Christian. And if you still just blindly accept them, then you know you don't have biblical discernment and you've thrown out the principle of examining if somebody is a genuine Christian or not. According to the Bible, that is something that we can do. The Bible says that if any man claims to be a brother, they claim to be a Christian, but they're in willful sin, they're in drunkenness, they're in idolatry, they're in fornication and, and you know things of that nature, that we shouldn't even eat with those people, right? Now, some people would even make an accusation towards me and say, oh, well, we should just pray for them. Now, if you guys still have that mentality, I would encourage you to check out a video I just recently made, and it's entitled, Should We Call Out False Teachers by Name? And it goes into this topic in a little more detail regarding should we, you know, examine false teachings? Should we call them out publicly? Should we call out false teachers by name? And things of that nature. So I would encourage you guys to check that video out. I'll have it down in the description and also on the end screen of this video. But once again, this video is not necessarily entirely just about the celebrities, but it's rather a video to the church to say, let's not show favoritism and also let's not, you know, forsake the biblical principle of being a fruit inspector. 
once again, should we just automatically write these people off, not show love to them, not show compassion to them? Yes, we should show love to them. We should believe that God can save anyone, most definitely. But we don't water down Christianity and accept somebody's false profession of faith just because they're a celebrity. If we preach true biblical Christianity and don't show these celebrities favoritism, that is actually what will have uh, benefit to them to having a true genuine conversion because you see what the problem is. When many of these uh, celebrities profess, profess faith in Jesus, they end up getting surrounded by a bunch of false converts and people that are just coddling them in their sin. And then the result of that is you have all of these celebrities claiming to be Christian and then, you know, the world's view of what Christianity is just keeps getting watered down more and more and more and more. So please, even for the sake of other Christians, do not just blindly accept these celebrities as Christian. I'm not making any final statements about, uh, you know, all of them. I'm not trying to condemn any of them by, you know, me making this video. But you see, when you accept accept a bunch of people that are, you know, um, influencers as Christian when they are not genuine Christian that can lead other Christians astray. If you say, yeah, Kanye West, that's awesome. He's a Christian now and all that. Then if, if you post that on the internet and let's say 50 other people see that, then 10 other people go and check out the music. They're going to think to themselves, well, this person I follow said that he's a Christian. So they're going to feel fine to listen to the the music and then when they listen to the music you know they will get entrapped in the lusts of this world and believing false doctrine as well too so I hope you guys can re uh, realize and see the danger in uh, just blindly accepting these celebrities as Christians if you guys were blessed by this video please make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'm gonna have uh, that one video that I talked about on the end screen here so you can click on it now Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.